Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, we'll be talking to a TEDx speaker, a multiple best-selling author, and a countess. It's all in the same person, by the way. <laughs> That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, as many of you know, I wrote a book uh, some 20 years ago, and it just about killed me. I, I said, I'll never do another one. I'm sitting next to a multiple best-selling author, Elona. I have so much trouble pronouncing your last name. She's like, just call me Elona. It's like Beyonce. And Michael Butler. Michael Butler is uh, the CEO of Beyond Publishing. It, it's, it's great to be back. So proud of Elona here and her uh, 12th book, Legacy Legends. Absolutely. And she has some big news to announce because you just got back from a, a major announcement. Well, we had a special trip to Greece, and uh, we had a special purpose there to actually introduce our book, uh, Legacy Legends, with His Royal Highness, uh, Prince of Montenegro and Serbia. And I also got knighted. I was uh, I got the privilege to be knighted as a Lady Ilona or Countess Ilona Paronakova. So I'm very excited. So there's more to achieve in my life, but this is a great beginning. And you got a certificate. I mean, this is the, the movie real, will just the, be called Alona. <laughs> we won't use her last name. Alona. Yes, this is, this is the real deal. Show that. Show that off with so pride. This, That's amazing. Uh, this is the certificate. It's going to go, of course, on my. Uh, it will be framed and go on a, on the wall with a special place. Lots of flowers around it. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and, yes, and, and show us the book. And the book we have just launched with His Royal Highness, it's called The Legacy Legends. And we're so proud to kind of share the news, to share the message to everybody in the world that needs to hear that. We're going to bring you in in a second, Michael, because I know how proud you are of her. Uh, t tell us the significance of this, because getting uh, first a, a, a chance to sit down uh, and have a lengthy interview is really an honor, isn't it? It is very much so. And in my life, uh, I used to get a lot of no in my life. Rejections, no everywhere. But what I didn't realize is this no were for a reason in my life. No simply just means, means next. Because whatever was next was much better than if I would have gotten that opportunity to begin with. So now I use this power of no to reach out to people. Even if I get no, that means next. So with the next, I got His Royal Highness right with me. We launched the book, we launched the interview, and there's a more uh, projects to come. Okay, I want to bring Michael in because, Michael, you've never had an author this prolific, have you? She's very prolific, and just like she said, she grew up in the former Soviet Union, the country of Georgia, and uh, growing up in that time frame, as you and I know, uh, was a difficult era. But, but not only did she survive war and her family survive hunger and her grandparents survived genocide, uh, but uh, she's been able to secure an interview with the First Lady of Georgia. And we just came off the book tour of Legacy Legends, not only in Greece, like she mentioned, but also in London and Dubai. So she's empowering women everywhere. This month is International Women's Month. And so we're encouraging women everywhere, if they're persecuted, if they're underserved, to step up and let their voice be heard. She's a great example. And we're going to roll some video from some of your titles. I can't even keep them all, <laughs> all, all straight. But uh, Michael... For her to keep cranking out these books, I mean, really, I, I admit it off the top of the show, it's, it's hard to write a book. Most people who uh, have English as their first language take about two years to do a book or 20 years like some of us. But she's been able to crank these books out prolifically. And I think when you come from a place of hardship, you have this certain drive and determination. You know, immigrants are four times more likely to become millionaires in the U.S. than those born here. And so I think we can all learn from the drive and determination. The fact that people are reading books everywhere and the fact that women are the ones buying the books, reading the books, and writing the books can be encouraged by Ilona. And her movie, like I said, will simply be called Ilona. 
Well, I, we can't do this interview without mentioning the, the people in Ukraine right now. Yes. Uh, I'm sure your heart is breaking for everything they're going through. Yes, I have a relative still in Ukraine. My mom is Ukrainian. She was raised and born in actually Lviv right now. That is ha happening, going on. So actually in our tours, we met lots of uh, Ukrainian people and the people around the world. And there's a one thing that we all want is a world peace and love. Everybody wants that. And our heart goes really deeply to that. It hit me so hard, I started tearing it up uh, for everybody who is there, who are struggling because I went through the war. I don't want a war. And uh, for mother, you know, having, you know, seeing the child being, you know, without water, without any, um, you know, general things, basic equipment, it's a heartbreaking, it's a heartbreaking. The other thing we're all witnessing is just the strength of, of the Ukrainian people. It's so inspiring. You know, we were at the pavil Ukraine Pavilion in Dubai at the Expo 2020, and, and, and Jeff, it brought us to tears there, the outpouring of love and support from Muslim friends, Christian friends, and people that had no faith, just from all countries all over the world, the outpouring of love, even from fellow Russians, it was so powerful and moving. And I, uh, I, I can't believe you're here because you were just in Dubai and you just did a nice announcement. Let's go ahead and roll that video now. A happy International Women's Day. Today we're here in Dubai to wish everybody, every woman around the world, a happiness, a love that you deserve. And we are bringing this energy to you. The impact that you make your families, to the world. And we want to celebrate you today from Dubai. It's Ilona from IP Resilience Young Publishing. See you next time. Yes, and I, I encourage my audience to follow her on social media because she's always posting, uh, you know, affirmations like that. So, uh, Alona, tell us about um, stick to grit, you know, dusting yourself off, overcoming rejection, because so many Americans, you know, they, uh, they have the loss of a job or a loss of a loved one, and they get into this funk and they can't get out. So what, what words of encouragement would you give? I usually say this one. I love to speak with people who have PhD who are poor with the resources, who are hungry in their lives to make it, and who have determination to never give up. And I use this PhD in my life. It's not from government, it's not from education, it's the PhD of life. And that's what I'm using to empower somebody else out there. Because I tell this to everybody. Uh, there's a Scandinavian saying that says this, only that fish follow the stream. Hmm. Oh, I like That's it. really good. Because what I use, I <laughs> that, use the stream. That might be the name of another book. <laughs> <laughs> you no, never want to give me ideas. It's already like happening. Next week, stay tuned. <laughs> it's already <laughs> happening. Because I use the stream as a playground in yeah. my life yeah. to do something impossible. Because I don't go and follow the rules, let's say, what government says to me. Mm -hmm. I go beyond that. I go beyond my dreams, beyond of my determination, of with the empowering everything yeah. else. I see the end results before I even make it there, because I am not the one that worries about how, I'm worried about why. As long as I have my why, how will happen. Michael, you see a lot of authors in your in your travels. How many books have you uh, helped get published? Yeah, we, we've published 640 titles in the last five years. It, it's just been so inspiring to see Alona on stage the last uh, few months around the world and speaking, and to see her be present in the moment and inspiring a woman be you know a woman with a PhD or a woman that's making you know merely a dollar a day from Pakistan it's just very empowering to see what she's doing because she's seizing every moment to take that opportunity because when you realize your story matters you can go beyond the pain and she's a deep person of faith she's highly motivated by faith but she knows how to reach into the business community and uh, touch both sides of the business and the faith community. So we appreciate that and it's been a lot of fun. Okay, Alona, we've, we're have we almost out of time. Where, where do you see this all headed? I mean, you you speak seven languages, uh, you've written a, a dozen books. Where do you see this all headed? I never put limits into myself. That's the one thing that I learned how to not to put myself in a box and limit myself with any dreams. I tell that to everybody, including myself, dreams, are fuel to make you where you want to go. So I want everyone to wake up with a dream. I want everyone to possess and surround yourself with the people who will follow your dreams and support you. And it's okay to say no. 
to people, places, and things. It's time to detox your life and get yourself in the right stream of water. Go against that. Yes. Okay, you have multiple websites. We're going to put up one of them uh, and, and we'll uh, help direct the audience to others. But what great pictures. This is, a, this is an amazing accomplishment. And thank you so much, Countess, for coming into the studio. Michael, thank you as well. Thank you. And you bet. congratulations, Alona. You bet. Thank you so much. That's it from now. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Jeff.